Alright guys, welcome back. We just chased down Tweedledee and Tweedledum. They kind of got us. Uh, these guys are hired goons for people I don't know who. But we're on the right track at least. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well... After the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. <laughs> then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. The trip trap? What's the trip trap? Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. We haven't talked to him yet, but... Uh, Tell me. I don't think anything would surprise me at this point. I feel like Bluebeard has something to do with this. I had the same suspicion. I don't know how or why just yet, but if you're asking, this is his M.O. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. I think it's Makes sense. Too. That's probably the best approach. I'm assuming because it says that Tweedledee and Tweedledum are hired goons. And he's a rich, he's one of the richest influential, like, con artists, dudes in t this town. Thanks I for I wish you. there was... Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... What? It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper. Making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are... As he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I believe in you. So I appreciate it. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You should get out of there. If it's as bad as you say it is, maybe there are better ways to get things done outside of the system. It's something I have to consider. Never took you for a quitter. <laughs> We're not talking about me. Trip trip. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah. Way too shady for her. Yeah. Maybe I should. That pimp is a 
first dude on my list. Big B. I... Um, just be careful. Please. What do you want, Sheriff? I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well, fucking hello. Now you can get the fuck out of here. What? Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. That's a lie. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Why are you lying to me? Don't let him tell you what to do. You're your own woman. Well, this is me talking, Big B. Fuck off. Puff and puff cigarettes. Can I buy one? Yes, I can. Damn. No, I can't. <laughs> What's this? Pickled eggs. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. Half empty glass? Who's that? Someone who left. Why didn't you dump it? If you want a cleaner place, feel free to get the fuck out of here. I'm sensing a very hostile tone from you. <laughs> Don't deny it. I'm good at picking up on this stuff. Yeah, I would think that you'd dump it. Match? Match? A lot of these walk out the door? Matching yeah, that it's I called advertising. You get a refund? Fuck you. The word's getting out. And of course, we have the picture here. He a regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. Yeah, but you just take a picture of him. Okay. All those cigs. Come on, I'm not stupid. A lot of stools in this place. You got a problem, friend? I don't like you. And now you're sitting right next to me. You could ask me to move. You gonna order something, or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. <laughs> she has no customers. Give me a Midas gold. 
You want a lime? No. Well, I don't got any anyway. <laughs> think that's funny? <laughs> yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. This is serious, Holly. Harboring a fugitive is gonna get you in as much trouble as he's in. You could lose everything. Who's in the restroom? I wonder. Holly, you're out of paper towels in the... Good friend. I just wanted to talk. Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. You'll be back. Now here you are. <laughs> you and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. I just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Yeah, one okay, idea. Grant. I want to beat him down. Make him lose that other eye. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. Big bad one. Well, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. What do you mean? <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. What are you talking about exactly? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob him. What? But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. Wow. But she didn't give so me shit. So he was a scumbag in the fairy Except tale a bunch too. of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. Oh, I didn't hit it in time. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want! Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. When they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. Uh, it's happened before, and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. You don't call her that, you hear me? That all you got? Seemed to be enough. 
Don't be so sure. Oh god. Oh. Chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Oh my god!
double. Submit a damage report with my office. Fabletown will pay for this. Charge the drink on there, too. And the glass. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But if it turns out... That you killed that girl. Well, you know what that means. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named. Oh, look who it is. Fuck. Hello. Nice to see you again. It's not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me! Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. I was thinking... that they... I, I'm thinking about the major plot, like... this, this, uh... Bluebeard man. These guys that might have been hired by him, that's why I picked him. Do anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. What now? There's no cops here. Happen. Beauty. Don't tell me it was be it's beauty. We had something very special. I can't believe they got her. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, it's one of us. Wait. The watchman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. I'm not saying anything. Doesn't matter, Beauty. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. Uh, what did you do? Uh, friend on friend. At the end of the end. Fight me. Jesus Christ, Billy. He 
inside you. Episode one, guys, of the Wolf Among Us. You and ninety percent of players gave faith your money. Sixty-four of players lied and said you haven't seen snow. I mean beauty. Eighty-three percent went to help Toad. You did not prevent Prince Lawrence's death. Oh, so I could have prevented his death. Who was your prime suspect? Mine was him. Everybody else said this guy. I guess. I don't know. I think Bluebeard did, might have been doing something, man. Who did you arrest? And it came down to the wire. You in 67.9 of players made sure Tweedledee didn't get away. Damn. Well, there's my choices, guys. Um. Yeah, I'll see you guys on episode 2. I love this game already. I can't wait for it to. I don't. This, I'm telling you, man. They do this to you. They make you love these characters and then they kill them. Like, damn. And then it makes it even crazier. It's Snow White that just got decapitated. And also, um. This reminds me of that thing where they were saying that dude that was decapitating his wife, all his wives' heads. Because I remember reading that in one biography that I had. There was someone that was dead that was decapitating he uh, his wives' heads. What, wasn't it a... I think it was a... This dude, I think. Bluebeard, right? Yeah. Yep. As a for he was a former serial killer. He claims his days of decapitating his brides are over. I don't understand the bride part, but he does decapitate them. And that has to lead him something to do with him. This is awesome. I like this a lot. This game is great. I can't wait for the uh, episode two. Um yeah. That's all I got to do or say. I will see you guys later.